Today I want to talk to you about carbon monoxide toxicity. Carbon monoxide is a tasteless, odorless, colorless, irritating gas. When carbon monoxide is exposed to hemoglobin within the red blood cells, it forms a complex known as carboxyhemoglobin. Carbon monoxide binds with hemoglobin with an affinity 200 times greater than oxygen. The gas easily diffuses across the pulmonary capillary membrane and enters the red blood cells. There are many sources of carbon monoxide, including motor vehicle, boat, faulty heaters, gas-powered generators, propane stoves, fire, tobacco smoking, and charcoal grills. Toxicity can occur very rapidly in poorly ventilated areas. Every person has a percentage of carboxyhemoglobin at baseline. Smokers have 10 to 15 percent and non-smokers have 1 to 3 percent. Carbon monoxide poisoning is the leading cause of morbidity as a result of poisoning in the United States. Usually, incidence increases during winter and cold months. When carboxyhemoglobin is formed within the red blood cells, there is less oxygen binding to hemoglobin and much less oxygen being delivered to the tissue. As a result, there is tissue hypoxia and acidosis. The function within the cytoplasm is also disrupted. Please note that organs that have the highest demand for oxygen such as heart and brain, are likely to experience ischemia, making acute MI and stroke major complications of severe carbon monoxide toxicity. How would these patients present? Some patients may present with headache, and headache is the most common symptom. Others may present with confusion and difficulty concentrating. Some patients may have dizziness, shortness of breath, weakness, and nausea. Patients may present with symptoms mimicking viral infection. Patients with moderate to severe toxicity are likely to present with tachycardia and tachypnea. Remember to suspect carbon monoxide toxicity when multiple persons from the same setting present with similar complaints. In addition, these patients will be hypoxic and they will be in metabolic lactic acidosis. The workup includes an EKG on arrival and the patient being put on the cardiac monitor. Usually, head CT is frequently ordered. Carboxyhemoglobin levels should be ordered along with basic labs. The treatment includes 100% oxygen via non-rebreathing mask. Oxygen shortens the half-life of carboxyhemoglobin and should be given for six hours. The half-life of carbon monoxide in room air is about four hours. However, when 100% oxygen is given, it can decrease the half-life to 40 to 80 minutes. When hyperbaric oxygen is used, the half-life of carbon monoxide may drop to 23 minutes. However, there is evidence that quick clearance of carbon monoxide does not change long-term effects. And finally, erythropoietin is an emerging treatment for carbon monoxide toxicity. Well, thank you for watching. I do hope that you will remember to like, share, and subscribe. I wish you well. Good night.